Hey guys, welcome back to Homesteading Off The Grid. We here at Homesteading Off The Grid want to wish each and every one of you, our loyal, faithful subscribers, a happy Thanksgiving. <clears throat> it's Thanksgiving right now, as of this recording, and I'm going to tell you why our family does not celebrate Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving. Uh, I just finished a run. I just ran three miles. That's why I'm walking today instead of sitting up here. I can't stop. So I'm going to take you with me on my cool down. Temperatures are right at freezing. And I wore shorts anyway. Another reason they call me Crazy Lake. So over the last few days, everybody's been saying Happy Thanksgiving. And I want to say Happy Thanksgiving right back to you. Several people have asked, what do we do special on Thanksgiving? And some people have even asked, how did we celebrate Thanksgiving in the Philippines? They'd say, how do they celebrate Thanksgiving in the Philippines? What's it like there? Well, <clears throat> the answer to both of those questions are the same. That is, we don't and they don't. They don't feel like an idiot if you ask this question, but because many, many people were asking, but let me remind you, Thanksgiving is a, it's an American holiday. Remember the whole Mayflower and the Pilgrims, and they were going to freeze to death and starve to death, but then the Native Americans, the, Na the Indians, the indigenous people came and helped them out, and fed them, got them through the winter. I'm not so, you know, we've lost the meaning behind so many of our holidays here in the U.S. Uh, you know, a lot of people blame government, a lot of people blame <clears throat> political parties. I used to, because I used to think that way, but basically, really, um, Commercialism, really, in, in my mind, this is how Crazy Lake sees it. Commercialism is, I mean, I, I think it's its kind of ironic that on the day, the one day a year in which we've set aside to get around the table together as dysfunctional families and try not to argue and talk about how grateful we are for the things we have, and then the next day, run out and trample people in box stores for big screen TVs. You want to tell me that the idea and the concept of commercialism isn't behind this? I mean, I heard, and this is probably a joke, <clears throat> Uh, this has got to be a joke. It's or fake news. There's no way this is true. But you know, a lot of thrill thrill seekers from America and other parts of the world used to travel to Spain to do the running of the bulls. I've heard that in recent years, people from Spain and other parts of the world travel to the U.S. during the week of Thanksgiving to participate uh, in Black Friday. It's probably a joke or fake news. But uh, all right, so here's the answer. I've been racking my brain the last couple of days trying to figure out how to answer this question and do a Thanksgiving Day morning ramble. But the fact is, I mean, okay, this is our third Thanksgiving here in the U.S. Last year, we were invited to some friend's house. We went, we had a great time, uh, wonderful food. The year before that, um, we stayed home and I baked a chicken. That was pretty much it. And I told my wife dearly and my son Daniel about Thanksgiving and Daniel was in kindergarten that year so he was starting to learn about it as much as they'll still teach about it in the public schools um, so but that's it so this year here's what we're doing we've decided to kind of do the whole at least the food part of it so dearly's baking a turkey and this is going to be her first turkey she's ever baked in her life and we got a pumpkin pie and again dearly and Daniel have only been in the US for about two and a half years now so this is actually going to be the first time either of them have ever eaten pumpkin pie in their lives now I know that sounds strange but remember they're both from the Philippines Southeast Asia and there's still a lot of what we do is a, is a first for them because there's just so much to do so that's going to be interesting seeing how they like pumpkin pie and seeing how Miss Dearly's turkey turns out we all know she's a great cook you watch her cooking videos there's nothing she can't cook so I have the utmost faith that her turkey is going to be exceptional now I finally came up with how to answer that question as far as Thanksgiving and this is why we don't celebrate it on Thanksgiving that's why they don't celebrate it in the Philippines and we don't celebrate it here on Thanksgiving really for the same reason it's celebrated every day in the Philippines is that my cat or a chupacabra it's a clump of weeds okay <clears throat> we don't celebrate Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving Day because we celebrate it every day of our lives now that sounds uh, concocted and canned and corny, but for those of you who follow this channel, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about because you probably celebrated it every day as well. Here's how I came to this revelation. I woke up this morning, I slept in, 
I slept in till 7 a.m. Okay, so I guess I kind of celebrated Thanksgiving today on Thanksgiving because I usually get up at 4.30 or 5. But I slept in, I woke up on the couch, I'm waking up slowly, I'm drinking my first cup of coffee, and I'm starting my day the exact same way I always start it, other than sleeping in for two hours. I'm formulating in my mind my gratitude list, thinking of all the things in my life for which I'm grateful. Um, I love to begin each day with an attitude of gratitude that sets the tone for a positive, productive day. And the best way I've found to do that for me, and I've shared this before, if you follow the channel, you know this, I begin each day with my gratitude list. Um, I started this years ago. Somebody I knew back then did it, and they told me to come up with five things every day. I never end at five. It goes on. It becomes dozens and dozens. By the time I finish my first cup of coffee, then I get up and I start the rest of my day. So... <clears throat> I, I was going down my gratitude list and I, I thought about how I'm grateful that my son's home from school for five days. I get him five days straight, don't have to share him with the school. And then it occurred to me, oh yeah, he's home from school because it's Thanksgiving break. And then I thought, well, gee, it's Thanksgiving. What, what should I be thankful for today? What can I think of to be thankful for today? And then I caught myself and said, Kevin, Crazy Lake, as I'm known. Dude, you're thankful for the same things today you're thankful for every day in your life. Now, 10 years ago, this wouldn't have been the case. 10 years ago, I would have had to sit there and drum up, what am I thankful for? Because I was always focused on the things I didn't have or the things I wanted. My attitude changed, of course, as you know, if you follow the channel. When I ended up down and out and broken and depressed and drunk and drug addicted and all these things on a tiny little island in a third world country in the South Pacific, and I had nothing. For the first, I mean, no family nothing of material value, no money, and at times no food. That is the first time in my life when I truly understood the meaning of having nothing. <clears throat> that put this whole concept of thanksgiving, of being grateful for what, for what you have, not focusing on what you don't, in perspective. Over time, I learned to be grateful for the simple things, such as food, which when you don't have it, is not so simple. Dearly entered my life. She brought me Daniel, my son. As things in life, love, things of necessity started coming back to me, I developed a level of gratitude, gratefulness, and thankfulness of which I could have never imagined in my previous life before that. As you know, if you follow the channel, my life's still not perfect. There are three people who are very important and special to me who I will not be spending today with. I hope to someday, but I've come to terms with the fact that that might not, that it's not today. It's not. I'm very grateful to be with Dearly and Daniel today, but I'm grateful to be with them every single day of my life. <clears throat> so, and, and, and really this is one of the gifts I got from the Filipino people. We've talked before, Dearly's talked about it when we've had our little Q&As in the garden. Family in the Philippines and throughout most of Asia is still the most important aspect of their culture. It always has been, it probably always will be. I know that once upon a time it was here too, and for a lot of people and for a lot of folks who follow this channel, it still is, and it is for us, and that's another bond we have. Many of our subscribers, you guys watching, we've been through some tough times, we've been through the ringer, we've come out on the other side more grateful than we were before we went through that ringer. And, and this is every day. This isn't just one day a year. It's every day. So. You know, my first couple of years living in the Philippines was a completely different culture than what I know. What you see is not always what you get. Um, I thought, wow, if I could change these people, if I could make them see things the way I see it, uh, they would be better off. <clears throat> After some time, actually, uh, instead of seeking to be understood, I began, I began seeking to understand. And then what that did is that caused me to look at the things the way I looked at them and realized how messed up so much of it really was. If you were to walk into a little hut in the Philippines, a little bamboo shack out in what they call the provinces, which is what we call out in the country, and you go in, and this is common, it's not hard to find. You go in and you find a family that doesn't have a TV, doesn't have internet, of course, none of that, because so many of them don't, and you sit down and you said to them, what would you guys think of the idea of getting together with your family, the people you love the most, once a year and talking about how grateful you are and then separating? Um, and even if you don't throw in that whole thing about the next day going out to a box store and trampling each other over material items, well, they'd look at you like you were nuts. Um, 
because they would well they would say well we do that every day why would we only do that one day a year and again i'm not knocking american culture i love america and i'm only going to say this once because in the neighbor in the crayon video i said it 17,534 times so it really doesn't need to be repeated but i'm going to i served in iraq okay enough said i love america i love my country i chose to come back i chose to raise my son here and have my family here there's nowhere else in the world i'd rather be so don't take what I'm saying as a knock on our country, my country. I know we've got subscribers from all over the world. It just doesn't make a lot of sense to me, and it doesn't make a lot of sense to our family to only be thankful on one day of the year. So we don't celebrate Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving because we celebrate Thanksgiving every single day. I challenged myself. I forced myself. When I'm thinking of this this morning, I'm going over my gratitude list, and I said, come on, Crazy Lake. There's got to be one thing that you've been taking for granted lately. And you know what the one thing was? My running. Where's my shoe? There it is. And my purple socks. Um, I've been so focused on firewood, cutting up this firewood because it is cold now. And, you know, I'm six or eight weeks ahead on firewood. And it occurred to me, you know, you haven't run for probably four days, which is a long time to go without running for me. Running is something that's a part of who I am. It's a part of my life. But there for a couple of years, I couldn't do it after my, my time in Iraq and certain injuries and whatnot. And it's not because I couldn't, it's because I believe that most dangerous lie we all believe, and that is the little I can't. They told me I wouldn't be able to do it without pain, and I believed it, and I told that to myself for a couple of years. But then I started stretching, I started walking, I started jogging, and now I'm running. And I'm very thankful and grateful that I can run. And so I said, you know, that is the one thing you've been taking for granted. Go out and do it. So I just ran three miles, now I'm going to get in the house before I catch pneumonia, and I'm going to lift some weights. I haven't been doing that either, even though that 10-pound sledgehammer that I've been banging down on that mall is pretty heavy. <clears throat> but there's my Thanksgiving morning ramble. I want to wish each and every single one of you a happy Thanksgiving, not just today on Thanksgiving, but every single day of the year, because we are thankful and we are grateful that you take time out of your life to watch our videos every single time you do it. So thanks for being with us, and uh, we're going to get some footage of Dearly and Daniel trying pumpkin pie for the first time ever and let you know how that turkey turns out later. Hope you're with the ones you care about. If you're not, hang in there. Be grateful for what you have. And we'll see you next time for more from here at Homesteading Off the Grid.